Hey guys, what's up? It's Nerf the Ninja here, and welcome to uh, my second Scrolls video installment. Today we're going to be uh, beating the Useless Trial. It's the second medium trial, and your opponent starts with three 10 health useless contraptions. So I'm going to be using my Order Energy um, multi uh, deck in this battle, and I am pretty confident because those three things she starts with, they can't really fight back, even though they're a lot of health, so we should be able to take them down. So I start here, the only really thing I could play right off the bat right now is the Crosswoman. Because he's the only thing with, uh, only takes one uh, order to use. Because this challenge you only start with, um, you didn't start with any order. So I don't need a Faith Blessing right now. So I just use that to get my order and I play with my Crosswoman. That's pretty good because he has four power. And I want big hard hitting attacks to get rid of those uh, machines. So she's just um, sacrificed a card, which was good. And now... I believe I just had to use a a, a, a kabonk here. Yeah, I think I just used a kabonk. Because there's nothing really else I could do. I couldn't have played any other card. Because if I sacrificed um, something else, uh, energy, I still didn't have enough to play. So I just used to get another card. Waking stones, nothing really. So I just ended my turn. And now... I want to play some more, like, I need some more uh, units on the board, because I want to start taking down these, uh, these, uh, walls, so I believe, yep, I, now I play my Royal Skirmisher, it was Relentless, which is a very good, uh, thing to pair with my, um, with my crossbowman. And that, what it does is just hurts my guy for one hit, and I get more attack for that turn, but I didn't attack, so it was a good move by him. And yeah, I'm just reading the card right there. Plus two attack until end of turn. And now my crossbowman is ready to attack. It's going to do four damage to that ten health uh, useless contraption. Or, it's at nine health, because he's Kabanka on it. So it's going to have five health left, which I'm very happy with. And I believe I use, um, do I, yeah, I just, I just I get some energy from this. I, I can't play an energy yet. I can play, uh, plating. I ended up just using it, I think, on my, uh, front line, um, guy. But it wasn't really necessary, and he doesn't even have any, uh, guys on the board. Or no, I think, yeah, I played on this Duke Infantryman I put at the front. Just because, because he gets hit. And the Dougal Infantryman is going to um, raise the attack of, of by one of everybody on my row, which is that means that Crosswind is going to do five damage to that thing, to that contraption. It's going to have four health left. Yeah, and I just played the armor on him or whatever, so that will make him immune to his next the next attack he uh, takes. He played an Ether Pump, which is pretty annoying. Those things are hard to take down. They have five health, and you put it behind that ten health useless contraption. What it does. Is that thing every time it, it's cooldown reaches zero, it hurts all of my units by one, which is pretty bad. Now, I I may have played this, I'm not sure. No, I didn't. So, I think I uh, split this, or no. I should figure out what I did here. I definitely played that Law Memorial soon because I wanted more order. Yeah, I'm playing this Law Memorial this turn. So, it doesn't matter if the Law Memorial is destroyed, it's basically just like a one-hit wall. So I'll just put it there, just for a little bit of protection. And I just destroyed his use of contraption. And now he played a Hellspitter Mortar, which are really annoying. Those things, they will attack a random tile on my side of the board with, like, just kill it. So, um, it's really a lot of luck with that guy. Like I said in the last video, that the, the energy deck is really... Hard hitting, not much strategy involved. It's just a lot of luck with your big, big guns. But I am using uh, some of it. I think it's a nice fit with the order combo. So I just did a, a little bit of damage on his idol, the first idol hit. And now I am going to take down that useless contraption because I can just move my, uh, move my uh, spearman over and my infantryman, and that will increase both their attacks. So then. Oh no, actually, no, because then it's 5 plus 4, and that's only 9, so I think it's going to leave that thing with 1 health. Or, 
I can do, yeah, I'm gonna use, oh no, I didn't use focus. Okay. Because if I use focus, I could have destroyed that, um, that thing. So now, I, I'm thinking about, we, the cards in my hand do right now, Royal Infantryman, um, it raises all the units on that row's health, and I don't really need that because he really doesn't have any, uh, thing that's attacking me right now besides those two structures in the back. But, um, I just have to play it anyways because that ether pump is gonna do the, do its thing and it's gonna hurt all my units by one and that gives two health to both of those guys. So they'll both survive and attack. And the redesign, what it does is it switches, uh, units attack and health and I tried using it on some things, but I fig figured out you can only use it on a creature, not a unit. I, try, uh, I tried using it in the ether pump because I figured maybe that would destroy it because it has zero attack and five health, so give it zero health, but you cannot do that. And I looked at my board and I don't really want to do anything with my uh, because my guys are attacking right now. I don't want to, they have higher attacks than health, really, besides a couple of the uh, bottom guys, but they're going to be attacked by the ether pump, so I don't want um, them to die. And then you play the catapult of goo. I was pretty annoyed when you play this because those things are so annoying. Um, that was what they started out with in the last, uh, the last episode, and they will make your guys cool down longer. So I, I want to take this out fast. And you just saw I was a little lucky that um, the guys, uh, those guys mortar didn't hit me, just hit a random tile. So now I am just looking at the health and see how could I kill that guy, and I see that. I, this guy, I could sacrifice his attack and do two damage something, but I don't think that there's anything that I need to do two damage to. So, I'm looking around, all everything has more than two health, so there's nothing I could really destroy yet. So I don't think I'm gonna sacrifice his attack. That's uh, what the um, I think this guy's called the Sin Mark Zealot or something. That's his ability. He will do one damage only, but you can sacrifice his life to kill. To deal two damage on any unit, and I then I uh, I do have redesign and obelisk. The obelisk would be a good wall, but I don't need it because he's not really attacking with anything that would get stopped by a wall. He has no units that are normally attacking right now. All of them are like lobbers or or like cannons or the ether pump that just attacks everything without a wall. I got pretty good cards, I'd use Blessing of Haste on that guy, and that means I will be able to destroy um, both his uh, Catapult of Goo and the Useless Contraption in front of him, so I'm pretty happy about that, and I just have a Kabonk for no reason, I don't know what I'm going to use it on, but both those things are going to be destroyed, so I don't really have to do much right now. So I just ended up using it on that. There's nothing else to use it on. And I got a real spearman and a redesign. I'm just checking my guys for anything I want to redesign. But now I like all my stuff. And I just did a lot of damage to him. So I'm really liking where I am right now. He plays a clock library. Those things, he, that's going to give him a bunch of uh, scrolls when it's uh, countdown is set to zero. So I would like to destroy that before that happens. So I'm just maneuvering my guys here. I want to get that that uh, that um, infantryman with the um, with the one that gives you extra attack on that row, so he does two damage to that clock tower. And I don't use the redesign. And that that I like that focus card. That focus card was really big for me. It, what that focus card is gonna do? It's gonna give. Whatever you, the unit you played on, plus three attack till the end of the turn. So I'm gonna play that focus card on my guy that's attacking and move him in, up into the row with my other infantryman, which is gonna raise his attack, which will give him five attack for the turn instead of the one he originally had. First, I play resident home to heal him a little bit. So I'm gonna play him there. He's gonna get five attack, which will take out his clock tower in one turn. What I forgot is he was his he was protecting the Sinmark deal up behind him. Um, I forgot that he would just vanish and die if he goes away because he only he was giving everybody in the row one health and he got hurt by the ether pump, so it was a little annoying there, but 
Pretty really happy with what happened in this turn because I took that thing down in one smash. Now, I've never seen anybody play this good a card in the trials yet. An Iron Ogre. 7 attack, 7 health, relentless ability. That thing I'm thinking I'm a little scared of. I want to take that thing out as fast as possible. Luckily, I have my cross omen and my infantryman doing a bunch of damage this turn. So I could, if I wanted to, lower him down to one health, which would be really, really great. But one health, I don't know if I want to. I think I want to just. I, I'm thinking about just, just letting it loose on his idol right in the middle there, because that would directly uh, to me win this game. Is that that ogre doesn't go for another three turns so I, I don't think I ended up doing anything I just hit the idol and I see my um, my uh, guy on top there is going to attack his useless contraption a little bit more that thing still has eight health I use my dust runner there or whatever you call him he will destroy any units that have three or less health when he attacks but he only does one damage when they don't have three or less health so I was just keeping that guy there in case uh, the ogre got to 3 health, I'll just uh, swiftly take him out. He's a lower cooldown than the ogre also, the ogre has 3 cooldown. And now I think I used um, Thought Trap, but yeah, Thought Trap and the ogre. Or did I? Because the Thought Trap and the ogre would be pretty good because, oh that's what I wanted, the incendiaries, that is good. What that does is it takes all of, you, all of your opponent's structures and hurts them by three and he has three structures on the board right now so all those things are going to be hurt with three damage with that incendiaries card it's a good energy card i uh, got it in the uh store with my coins so now yeah i think i ended up using a uh, resident helm on just some guy who wants to heal it he is only has one health on top of there and that means he's going to die from the ether pump that's going to attack so i use that and the thought trap to make sure that ogre does not attack for another three turns so that ogre's not gonna attack till round 16 which is very good and my guy was healed a little bit so i can i don't have to worry about that ogre much right now and i lowered his middle idol down to four health but then he played another iron ogre so that was a little scary i don't know how many iron ogres he has so now um i know that iron ogre only has th a three cooldown now so now I believe I want to get that incendiary, incendiaries card out to just to hurt his um to hurt his ether pump his mortar thing because those things are uh, he's gonna eventually get lucky and hit one of my crucial guys. So I'm just gonna use that. So now I could easily take out that row with the good relentless guy with good power. And then I forgot the thing where the guy's protecting somebody in the row again and it killed um. Killed somebody in my row. I think that was a crossbowman. I'm not sure. Wasn't really paying attention. So he used plating on that thing, which is kind of annoying, but it's all right. That just means the next attack that he does will uh, he won't take any damage from him. And he just got lucky and destroyed one of my guys with his. Of all the places on the board, he hit right there. So now all my guys are attacking now, and my my. Uh, Dust Runner, the guy on the bottom, he is only going to do one damage with his gun on that ogre, which is you're supposed to use him when you're attacking like low health units, so he could take it out in one hit. He's that's his ability, but um, I wasn't lucky enough to get that ogre down enough to low enough health. I am going to destroy that ether pump, and I'm not going to destroy the um, the mortar because he put uh, he put that enchantment on it that makes him not feel his next attack. But I did play these two very powerful um, energy cards, which I really love. Those energy cards, they're like the little copper automons or something. They are so good. They do four damage, they're easy to play. And although they die after they attack, it's a very good way of just like doing a lot of damage in a quick amount of time. So I want to keep that guy in the middle of the board, the upper copper automon, because he's going to completely destroy that idol because he has four attack. Not idol is for health. The bottom one, I'm thinking about if I should do it on the bottom idol or I should do it for the, to the ogre. I think I'm going to do it to the ogre because that ogre, I want to destroy at least one of them before both of them attack. So I'm going to just uh, put a crossbow in there. Just I, I just want him to absorb some of the attack. That's really all I want to do. I don't want to 
take i know that crossman's gonna die because those ogres have relentless they're gonna destroy everything in their path they're gonna hurt my idol i just want to absorb some of the damage i don't have any nice walls here like the waking stone would be great here because the waking stone reduces all damage to one like it would take three hits for the ogre to destroy the waking uh, stones and only one hit destroy an obelisk so that was good i got him down the ogre to one health so but now he used the iron whip just to hurt me a little bit and another one of those scrolls things so the scroll thing is annoying because i can't really get to it now because those ogres have so much health lucky he misses mortar and he completely wiped out my side with his relentless ogre so now i have to rebuild but, I, but it's not too bad right here because I still have two units attacking this turn where I'm going to destroy that mortar and do some damage to his idol. But I have to rebuild the bottom of my board. So I'm thinking I'm going to go for the three units, the three uh, idols in the middle. So I already took down his middle idol. I'll go for the top idol right there, which I just am about to uh, hurt. And then I'll go for the idol with the ogres on it. So burn is a very good card it does three damage to any unit and i really don't want that ogre to attack so i use my burn on the ogre that was really good so now that guy gets more health because i put a resonant helm on him before and then i just have this card i can't really do anything else so i decided to use it it would it hurts everybody on the row including my guy and does two damage to his idol which is pretty good so i'm so i had a Productive uh, turn right there, even though I ran out of scrolls. So it's gonna be, it's gonna get to a little slow for me now. And now his other ogre is going to attack, and I'm thinking at least my guy that he's going to attack has the spiky ability, which is going to hurt that ogre for two damage. And I also, he has seven attack, so I could play the obelisk in front of him, and I I ended up do doing that, but. Both of those guys are going to die anyways because the 7 attack just barely destroys both of them. So here he goes. Now, And I took down that top idol down to 2 health now which is pretty good. And he plays another iron ogre to protect his units. And that's annoying because I was just about to destroy that one. And I have to do 7 damage to the guy in front of it. And he's about to get a bunch of scrolls because his, his, scro his uh, like scroll library or whatever thing in the back is about to give him like 5 more scrolls or something. So now I just want to play more strong units, somebody with a lot of health, I think that has a, maybe a spiky ability also. And another dust runner because those guys are going to have less health soon. So that thing just blew up and he got his scrolls, played an ether pump and a useless contraption. He's trying everything right now, he's just starting to protect this out of the board, he doesn't want to lose, he's just putting all these random units out. So. Now I just have to stack up strong hitting uh, attacks and just try to wipe out those rows as fast as possible before they attack with their ogres and their ether pump. So I have an inferno blast, which would do a d damage to all the things like in that like in a little like uh, circle. Um, and I think I did use that. Yeah, just one damage to everything and all the adjacent tiles. Um, but I think I used the Crown of Strength on one of my guys that I was attacking up there because the Crown of Strength is a powerful order card. It gives that unit plus two health and plus one attack. And I, that uh, that Ducal Infantryman up there would really benefit from it because that would give him two attack this turn and beef up his health a little bit because he's a frontline guy and he only has one health. And that would allow him to... Uh, I think that... What does that kill? Yep, that, that exactly is enough to kill that ogre. So that was very good. Now he use just he's just using more cards just to try to beef off his guys, give them more health, and just try to survive this. He's just playing like things that I don't even know if he's gonna use, like that egg in the back. And his ogre just uses relentless to destroy my whole row again, which is really annoying. He's developing a very... That ogre is going to keep attacking, and now he's the ether pump in front of him, which is going to be very hard to destroy. But I think I'm going to be able to destroy this uh, two-health idol very soon. You see, there's nothing attacking me on that row right now. He does have seven health in front of it, though. And I do have a burn card. 
and that ogre only has one health. But I don't. I decided to use it on the useless contraption because that has three health. It might have been a bad move there. I'm not sure. I'm a little. I'm still new to the game, so I don't always make the best move. But I wanted. When you kill somebody with the with that uh, uh with that spell, you get um you get to get another card, and that was a very good move because I got a kabonk, which let me destroy the ogre too. So I was able to destroy both of them, and I got a crossbowman, which I was able to play right there. I want a hard hitting attack and maybe destroy something soon. So. Now, that really turns things around. I just, I took a lot of his good units, and now I'm doing much better. I think the game's kind of over right now, even though he played his, um, one of his, uh, mortars. He really can't destroy me now. I, I'm, I'm, the idol up top there is practically destroyed. I just have to get this bottom one. I played, a, I played one of those obelisks just in case, even though he doesn't have anything that could uh, attack it right now. Maybe he plays another ogre. So now I have spark. So it just does two damage to something. I just destroy one of his um, things. I probably should have done it on something else. Because that would have got the maximum effect. But it doesn't matter. I, I'm i really playing much faster now. Because I think I have this game locked in. I'm just trying to end it. And he's just playing more more cards. Just to place units on where I'm attacking. So now I got a useless contraption. And... A burn spell so what did, I, what did I do here I don't think I needed the useless contraption because nothing's really attacking me so I do use burn on okay just to hurt that guy some more just to make him stop attacking so that makes that guy die right now and he used fury I'm not sure what that card actually does he used another travel memorial which I think that increases his growth by one I don't really see any growth bards using, and he, the other pump destroyed everything on that side. So now, oh, that's a sand pack memorial. That increases energy by one. Yeah, he has energy deck, so that is a good card for him to use. But now on his board, you see he really doesn't have anything attacking me. That, his, his upper idol right there, his second stop idol, is going to be destroyed in this turn because... My guy has enough damage and relentless uh, ability, uh, relentless ability to destroy his sand pact and the idol. And I just use Kabank anyways, just to um, just to ensure the uh, kill. So now I'm looking at my proximity charge. I never played one of these cards before. I know I had it. It's pretty powerful. I've heard. So I don't know where to play it really, I just play it right here somewhere where I think he's going to attack. And it, what it does is it spawns a, ra a one randomly on an adjacent tile. But then I noticed that wasn't a good move because I have three structures on that row where I have to destroy his idol. And now I can't move them, so how am I going to destroy his idol if I have nobody attacking me? So that was kind of a bad move and now I have to do something. So I destroyed his idol at least. Now he's playing a catapult of goo, and he's really beefing up that that uh his side. And actually, his iron whip maybe it might have been a good thing because now I could actually place something there. So I have a a, a selection of units this time, and I could play um two of them. I could play a royal infantryman and a uh, spearman. I just want to spread them out a little bit so I can easily maneuver them. I have those two uh, structures there in the front and the back, which are annoying, and I have to like go around them. Play another clock thing, but it's not worrying me much. I'm just trying to destroy this guy's um, idol. And uh, right now, I I'm still going for that middle idol, but what I should probably be doing now is going for the bottom idol because he's stacked up that middle that that row right there so much. So I think I'm gonna start attacking the bottom one. Because he has nothing there, and he can't move his uh, his three structures there lower because they're structures they can't move. So I'm, right now I'm just putting a bunch of units on the board. I'm basically filling up the whole board with my units, and now he can't really do anything about this. So I'm just now he's going to attack with his uh, ether pump. It only killed one of my units though, and his goo only hurt one of my units. Or two of my units, one of my creatures. And now I'm thinking, yeah, that has six health, but he has so much protection in front of it. So I'm just going to destroy that bottom idol. So that's one 
power, two power, and yeah, so that's three damage on that idol, so you gotta start somewhere, I'll start hurting a little bit, and now I got a copper autonomon, that is pretty good, so I'm gonna play that there, it's gonna do four damage to the idol later, which will be pretty crucial, I'm just playing more cards up there on top, just to play them. Play another catapult of goo. I don't really care. I'm not really doing anything with those units up there anyways. He's probably protecting his bottom idol. It's a little problem with the uh, AI in this game right now. In beta, like, 0.95, it doesn't really have good AI yet. So, I'm just playing more cards. So I don't really have to do anything. I'm just going to use a plating. Maybe I just... Did I split that card yet? Yeah, I can split it. And then I burn and Ducal Skirmisher. I'm just probably going to play the Ducal Skirmisher somewhere. I don't know where. And I'm going to destroy one of his units. Probably his uh, Ether Pump, so he can't keep hurting me. As you can see, this whole game I haven't um, gone over the the four energy and the four or, the four order, which is pretty amazing. You see, he has gone to four growth and eight energy. Because most of my cars in this deck have have less uh, have less um, power. I mean, not less power, less um, order yet, or, or energy you have to use to play them. And that card you just used was pretty powerful. I don't even know what that ha what that was. Thunder Surge, that's a very powerful energy card. Maybe I want that eventually. So now, I won it. This turn, I won the game because I got a, uh, I got a focus, so I put plus three attack on that, uh, that Spearman. He's going to destroy the idol, and I'm going to take out three of his idols. So now, I think if you just do more damage to the guys on the board, I think you just get a little bit more, um, a little bit more coins at the end, so I'm just, I'm just doing stuff. And, yeah, that was it. I won. So, I, that's just some glitch on the bottom, it doesn't show your stats, I don't know why, I'll, I don't know why it does that. Hopefully that gets fixed soon. So, thanks for watching everybody, and subscribe for more Scrolls videos.